Hello and welcome to episode 9 of All Plan Engineering Questions and Answers. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to prepare a form work section as required by the DAH market. More specifically, how to show different line thicknesses and hatches for floors beneath, for the current floor and for the top floors. Let's see how it's done. We will start with a multi-story building and we will need to make a drawing where we create the sections. First thing we're going to do is to create an initial section with the create section function. We select the 3D formwork. We'll choose the viewing direction where we need to cut and how far should we see. And we follow the operation with an escape. And now we position the result and escape again if you don't want to label this. I'm going to copy this result twice at 30 meters just to have a distance that is bigger than the building. I'm going to consider that the first view should contain only the floors that are under the current floor that I'm detailing. So I will limit the view by pulling off pulling out the section object then for this one this will be for the current drawing that i'm detailing so i will adjust its edges by clicking on the handle of the section object to reduce the size of it and last there will be the top floors which have not yet been built in this construction stage so i will limit to this point next i'm going to move them back over the original position so that distance of 30 meters will go left wise now 60 so we are on top so it's look continuous and the yellow is just a construction line next what i'm going to do is to double click on this associative view and i will load a favorite load favorite and i created some favorites for the correct display of hatches and and line thicknesses. So I will select basement for this one just to have a view. If we go to definitions, hidden lines, uh, images, we'll see that for the basement I'm using a thinner pen. I'm using color 24, so some gray. Also, if I go to the other settings, I see that I allow to have uh, surface elements of architectural components. So I will say OK now, and we see that the lines here are in a shade of gray the top one the current level is correct so i'm just going for the top one and again load a favorite for the top floor so this favorite will make sure that all the visible edges are actually dashed and the fact that i have no surface elements for architectural elements and now I say OK. So the default option was already there, but if we want to get back to it, it's just the same procedure, loading a current floor setting. And now we see that the lines on the lower part of the buildings are with gray. The current drawing is with black colors and with hatch, and the top is with dashed lines and no hatches. If we think about plotting this element, then a good idea would be to split the views between different drawings so that I can overimpose lines and to make sure that everything is in shades of gray or dashed. So to do this, I will go to this icon and say copy move between documents and I will decide to move the basement in a separate drawing. So I decide to move the basement on a different drawing on drawing 1003 hit ok and select this associative view some links will be created and that is not a problem and i will do again the operation to move between documents and move the top view in drawing 1005 some new links have been generated and now we can activate this drawing it looks as good as the original but now when we can we go with uh, the layout editor when inserting the layout element i can choose building structure and i can use this option which says select drawing files currently loaded hit ok 
and place it on our drawing, paste it here. And now if we go to list layout elements, select all. And here I can make the following changes. I can super ordinate the pen for the top levels and for the basement. Also, I can super ordinate color so that the basement is in shades of gray. And I will leave it untouched, the initial drawing, the current floor. Here are the settings that we are going to use. So 103 will be the basement with gray colors and thin line. 1005 will be the top floors with a thin line and dashed line. And 1004 will be the current drawing. And let's give it an export to test it. And here is the result in PDF. The basement is with thin lines and with gray colors. The current drawing is with thick lines and black. And the top is dashed with no fills. So everything is still associative. If changes occur, then all these drawings are updated. I do hope you will find these techniques useful in your DAC project. If you enjoyed this episode, I suggest you subscribe to my channel and click on the bell notification button to receive notification for future uploads. I'm planning soon a movie with the top new features of All Plan 2019, and I also invite you to participate to an online training with the newest version of All Plan. You'll find the link in the description below. Thanks for watching and see you soon.